Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls, Prepare to Die. As you may have noticed, I have changed my armor, because if I'm going to use this great axe, I am over the weight limit for rolling fast anyway. So I figured, might as well look, you know, more armor. Ah, why, that's a fine ember you have there. I could smith some mighty weapons with one of those. Why not lend it to me? He's not just blowing smoke. You really want to give him this. Magnificent! You won't be disappointed. I can hardly wait to get started. Now normally here I would upgrade my Zwinehander, but I said I'd probably end up using this, so I am, and I've never actually used the Great Axe before. This shall probably be very funny. Um, for the future though, I am going to up buy these because it's always nice to have them. Um, Don't get yourself killed. Neither of us want. Yeah. I'm going to use some of the souls I got to get some currency here to do the upgrading. And there we go. Great X. Great X. Yep. Oh, frick. Great. Well. 30 souls. Don't get you. And what's this thing's damage? Pray tell. Uh, 196, and it is a C, as opposed to my Zwinehander, which is 195 C and D. Zwinehander's probably better, but for variety's sake and, you know, things like that, I'm gonna use the Great Axe. Anyway, I'm not going to be OCD and uh, make sure I have plus five. I'm just going to go in plus four. And um, here we go. That is Sen's Fortress. It is rather imposing looking. Um, you actually need more wits than you do battle skill here. From uh, what I can remember about this place. Yes, come here. Come here, you. Come here. Oh dear, I seem to have stepped on a trap. And I missed some I missed one of you. Great. Okay, now this is probably not this is how I learned to oh, yeah, well it would have paid to actually know what my moveset was, I suppose, before I did that. Uh this is gonna be interesting. Uh not that. Not that at all. Okay, this isn't good. Um this thing is slow as all hell. Well, that's one down. I've learned, don't do this. Don't go into a fight blind. It tends not to end very well. Oh, crap. Why can't you just keep going backwards? Okay, you swing. Alright. Hey. Hey. Why won't you stagger? Okay, there we go. Good lord, this thing is slow as... Molasses in January. That is awful. <laughs> oh, this is gonna suck. <laughs> well, I suppose I can try and get used to it. Probably tell what is okay, pretty standard. Well, that's not very good, but that is pretty slow. This will come into play much later. Um you really want a weapon you're good at here. No, not what I'm doing here, but if I can manage to get through this, that'll be awesome. Now, you don't really want to go and fight on that. that. That just don't seem like a good idea to me. So I'm going to pull him. He's going to run right into that, and he's not dead. That will probably come back, not to haunt us, but you'll see him later. Patience is key here. Yes, you will be shot at by that witch up there, but don't panic. When you panic, um, bad things happen. Even if you have to take a uh, lightning thing to the back, don't panic. Now, this the way I do this is not the way you should do this, but I'll show you what I do here as soon as I can just fire another one at me. This is really stupid and should only be attempted if you've done this before. Trust me. Ah, oh, crap. I'm not used to your move set. Like I said, this will come into play. Oh, but it worked. Ooh. 
I very nearly died there. <laughs> if you fall, that's a long way down. And I think that other guy just died. And that is a trap right there. Roll out of the way. Okay, now, I don't remember what's a trap here and what's not. This place introduces mimicry. Um, mimics, whatever you want to call them. That are chests that are basically booby trapped. Hit them once to make sure that they're not mimics. Uh, if you don't, you might get your face eaten. Alright, uh, that guy's sleeping. Let's not disturb him. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. No, you're gonna stay out there. I'm gonna keep you out there. No, no, you stay out there. I'm gonna let Dungeon do my work for me. <laughs> Loser. I don't think he's dead, though. But he will be in a second. Goodbye. Okay. Now, I'm cautious, so I'm going to let the next one go and uh, make a suit. Well, not really a suicide run, but if you are crazy like me, you can do this. Okay, I did not know there were things down here. This is going to be um, somewhat interesting, somewhat bad, depending on how I hopefully don't get surrounded. No. Crap. Oh no. Oh sh Run up here. Run up here. Ooh. Yes, chase me. <laughs> oh, this sucks trying to do this with a weapon you don't know very well. Anyway, provided you don't get yourself almost killed down here. You recognize Sigmire over there. Old Onion Knight man thing guy. And let's go say hello. See if he actually appreciated me appreciating us doing all that work. Mmm. 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 Oh ho! Ah! Where did you come from? Splendid news, I tell you. <laughs> okay, what's the news, buddy? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, so you see my plight. Yes, indeed. I've run up against a wall. Or a ball, to be precise. I'm afraid I'm a bit too plump to be up running those things. So here I sit, in quite a pickle. But who knows? Perhaps we'll have another development. <laughs> you have anything else to say, my friend? Perhaps I could try some rolling. Bah! No chance. My head would spin. Hmm. I think that's the general point of rolling, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, if you do not talk to him outside, I think you can talk to him here and still have the same effect of starting the, um, chain, or whatever you want to call that. I'm not exactly a master of this quest. Like I said, I have a vague understanding, and that is about it. I don't know this quest very well. Anyway, this seems somewhat suicidal, but this is what you gotta do. You gotta run up to the thing and try not to get crushed. Come on, come down here. You're not gonna come down here, are you? Well, we have... Oh, no, you are. You're a stupid snake, aren't you? What do you learn? Well, again, I'm overly cautious. You don't have to wait this long, but I don't really want to die here. You don't need to do this, though. But, yeah. Always keep a lookout on the ground in this place. And, um... Here's a hint. Uh, determining if it's a mimicry besides just smacking it in the face. Look at the chain. You notice the chain is a little looped now? Okay. Apparently that's a normal one. You can tell by the chains. I just didn't remember if that was like, what the chains were. Steel protection, I think, obviously, is... I have the rest of the iron ring on. Is um, versus physical attacks. I want poise though, considering this is a very slow, unwieldy weapon. And I think that just went, so we can go. All right. And now for the one of the more annoying parts of this uh, place. 
Hmm. I wonder what that's gonna be used for. Mm hmm. Come over here. Come over here. Aha. Curse you for being intelligent. You're not supposed to do that. Oh well, I'll fight you like fight you like a man the old fashioned way. By hitting you in the back. Uh -huh. Oh, you're still alive. That saddens me greatly. Well, stab you in the back again. Okay, that's a trip that's not gonna fire anymore. Good. Uh is there anything in here? You hear that upstairs? Something just moved. Or is moving, rather. Now, yeah, for this, um, trust me, you want to get your uh, equip load rather low, and you don't want to be slow here. If you're slow here, it will cost you horrendously. If you're going to do what I'm going to show you. This is a shortcut and a very risky one at that. I may die here, and you will laugh if I do, I'm sure. Okay. It's coming from upstairs. You're supposed to go downstairs, but if you're fast enough... Okay, I guess we're gonna restart that one. I was a little too over-eager. But if you're fast enough, you can get up there. Let's try that again with a little less fail this time. Oh, Jesus, not a good idea. And then dodge! Oof. That's a big portion of this place done. But... We're not done quite yet. Okay, that's going that way. Um, you remember that sleeping snake earlier? Well, we're gonna say hello in a very bad way. I hope this is the right direction. Uh, yes it is. He's not dead though, so... We get to wait a little bit on him to die down there. Okay, he's getting hit for 150 a swing, or a boulder, but... Excuse me. Come on. One more should do it, and then we can finally get moving up here and not look like quite a lazy uh, person. That should do it. Let's move this out the way so we can actually go down there. Uh, yeah, that's going that way. Okay, good. And... I'm hoping he's dead. He looks dead. I don't like to dilly-dally on these walkways if I don't have to, but anyway, for those of you who use magic, I believe that is Logan over there. Now, normally you can open this right now, however, I'm going to show you a little later here how to get the key that opens that. If you have the master key, it opens right now, you know, it's good. If, however, you don't have the master key, you have to wait. And I'll show you where to get the key later, but for now, I'm going to mm. free him. You seem quite lucid. A rare thing in these times. I am Logan. I'm a bit cooped up, as you can see. I have a bright idea. Suppose you set me free. I'm old and empty-handed, but I could repay you with knowledge and sorcery. This place is melting my mind. The inactivity is repressive. Like I said, I'll share with the keys later. I'm gonna free him right now, though, so you can... Okay. Oh, heavens! Thank you! I'm saved. And I'd love to resume my travels. But I must log a few things first, and I owe you a favor. I will return to Firelink Shrine. Speak with me there, so that I may impart my sorcery. Yeah, Logan's a little bit of a smart aleck when you first meet him. Um, but, you know, I guess he was just cooped up in there. I'd probably be a little bit of a smart aleck as well if some guy just, you know, saved my uh, skin. Well, not really. I'd probably be rather grateful. But he's a smart aleck. And notice how I don't remember if that's the way it originally was, but it changed. It will change on its own. The uh, boulder aiming device, or whatever you want to call it. So, always be aware, something is changing upstairs. I wonder what it could be. 